Let's look at how to use longitudinal projects in RegCap. To enable a project as longitudinal, click Enable under the main project settings. Once a project is enabled as longitudinal, you will need to define the events that will make up the longitudinal project. To add a new event to the project, click on the Define My Events button and give the event a name with an optional custom event label. The custom event label is a great place to use piping to make similar looking events, such as weekly check-ins, easier to distinguish. Here, I am inserting piping for the variable visit date. This means that each event will be automatically labeled with the date of that visit. Then click Add New Event, and drag and drop events in any order you choose. In a longitudinal project, you can have multiple arms in your study. The arms are completely unrelated to each other, so Record 1 and Arm 1 will not be the same as Record 1 and Arm 2, and the arms can have different setups. This feature allows you to have multiple groups in your experiment, such as control and experimental groups. When you add or edit records in a longitudinal project, you'll have to select both the arm and the record to create or change a record. Once you've created all your events, go to the Designate Instruments for My Events tab at the top of the screen. In this section, you'll need to indicate what forms to use for which events. For example, I only need to create demographics information for the first event. The Diet Habit Survey is only administered at the initial visit and week two. However, I want to collect exercise and check-in information at all weekly check-ins. I click Begin Editing, select the instruments I want for week three, then click Save. This setup means that when a participant fills out the form or a researcher does data entry, they'll have the option to fill out specific forms for specific events, but only for those specific events. If you go to the Record Status Dashboard under Data Collection, you can see that during the initial visit, demographics and diet habits appear, but the exercise, check-in, and follow-up are not options because they are not used for this first event. A form must be added to at least one event before you'll be able to collect data in a longitudinal project. The scheduling module is an extra feature within a longitudinal project. This feature can be found on the Project Setup page under Enable Optional Modules and Customizations. Once you've enabled the scheduling module, the Define My Events page will change a little bit. There is now a Days Offset column, and you can provide an offset range. The Days Offset column is how many days after the initial event the events should happen. For example, the Week 1 check-in should happen 7 days after the initial appointment, and the Week 2 check-in should happen 14 days after. You can also set an offset range. For example, the minus one plus one next to week one means that the week one check-in should happen seven days after the initial visit, plus or minus a day to allow for scheduling. In the scheduling module, under data collection on the left-hand menu, choose any unscheduled record and select the start date and study arm. REDCap will generate a schedule for that record, which states the day every event should happen, along with the acceptable offset range. Any dates that fall on weekends will be listed in red to make it easier to find and change these dates. Click Create Schedule, and the calendar, under Applications on the left-hand side, will show all visits as scheduled. 
When you click an event on the calendar, a pop-up menu will appear showing the record, the event it is in, the status, due date, scheduled, confirmed, canceled, or a no-show, and an option to add time and make additional notes. You can also jump to the relevant forms for that record in that event to begin data entry. Finally, you can use repeating instruments in a longitudinal project. If you need a refresher on how to set up repeating instruments, please view video 6 again. The difference between when you'd want to use a longitudinal project and when you'd want to use repeating instruments is how regularly will people be filling out the instruments. For example, if you have no idea how many visits someone is going to have, it might make more sense to have visit forms created as repeating instruments. However, if you know that every participant is coming in for exactly 10 visits, it makes more sense to set it up as a longitudinal project. Within a longitudinal project, you can use repeating instruments, and you have two ways that you can set up projects. The first way to set up the project is to use repeating individual instruments. In this example, the exercise form Ask the participants what form of exercise they have engaged in that week. Participants can add more than one form of exercise by choosing to complete another instance. In that case, the instrument repeats on its own within the event. The second way to set up the project is to repeat the entire event. This setup means that all instruments in the event will be repeated when you add a new instance you will always have the same number of instances for every instrument in that event. Repeating instruments and repeating events in a longitudinal project, which already allows for the repetition of forms, can be complicated. If you ever have questions about the best way to set up your project, we're happy to meet with you. That covers the basics that you'll find in a longitudinal project. Next, let's look at how to create reports in REDCap how to export data from REDCap, and go over what statistics REDCap collects.